Oh, we love talking with you about our ag commodity trade, and today is no different. So glad you could join us here on Market Day Report. I'm Marlon Bowling with you. Let's dive into our quotes provided by Bar Chart, starting with the corn. And on the corn market, we started out weaker this morning, and now you have that December corn just a little bit easier. We have it uh, now trading a half cent lower at uh, four seventy-six and three quarters. So it's almost back to unchanged again. March is down a penny and a quarter as it stands right now. Now on soybeans, we had that sale overnight of 110,000 tons to China and just kind of gloss over that November contract there. Uh, that one's in delivery, so it does its own thing. Don't get too excited about that. We go with January here and January is 14 and a quarter higher, so it's nothing to sneeze at. Uh, we're at 1378 and a quarter and you know what? It's on the high of the day as we look at it here. The front months are leading the way too, which is typically a rather bullish sign. Now, if you look at the wheat market in Chicago, December is now four and a quarter higher, and it uh, rang the bell at 580 here this morning. In Kansas City, December wheat now four and a quarter lower at 641 and a half, and that would put it about four cents away from its high from last night. If you look at spring wheat in Minneapolis, December three and three quarters higher at 732 and a half. That would put us three cents off of our high of the day there. Now, cotton has been struggling for quite a while, and today is no different. We're down 47 points on December. We're at 77.53 per pound right now, but I will say that it has climbed back about oh, 80 cents or 80 points rather off of its earlier low of the session. So maybe it's uh, finding a little bit of support here today. Oh, it's that time of the week where we call on Mr. Ben Hushen. He is with the mill. He's in Whitehall, Maryland, and he joins us right now to get us updated on what's going on among the uh, farming interests in that part of the country there. All right, Ben, how's the weather treating you and everybody around you there? Good morning, Marlon. Well, we've had another rain-free uh, seven days since I last talked to you, so I believe that's three straight weeks uh, without rain, and so harvest is certainly rolling, uh, in some cases winding down for some, and still going on for some, for some others. Not very good for the wheat and barley we planted here a month, six weeks ago, but uh, hey, you take what you get when you're farming, right? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so usually what's good in one regard is uh, bad in another. But yeah, if it's wide open harvest weather, at least everybody can reap the rewards of their uh, labors throughout the year. That's for sure. Uh, so what are the farmers working on right now then? So I went up uh, to York just across the line into Pennsylvania to York County this week and found Todd Raymeyer. Uh, who is growing popcorn. So for the viewers and listeners, I uh, sent in some pictures and video. And uh, honestly, when you're riding in the combine, uh, you think, oh, this is just probably a pretty good field of corn. And uh, it's kind of kind of fun to take a look at it. And of course, uh, there's a company up in Lancaster County, Rice Seed, that I believe is on their third generation of uh, contracting with growers to harvest popcorn and the type they pretty much, and you probably know this Marlon for some earlier conversation I had with you, it's a yellow butterfly type. So it's a specialty popcorn. And one of the things you don't think about uh, when you look at those pictures and videos, you think, boy, that corn looks pretty dry. And of course they require it to be 18% or less because uh Think about it. You sure don't want to throw too much heat to dry that popcorn down, or it might be exciting. Yeah, exactly. Boy, that is, uh, you have to be so careful with it. Uh, in fact, a lot of guys will use conveyor belts instead of uh, regular augers if they have to move it from one storage location to another or something like that. Fascinating stuff. Wow, that, that really uh, makes me homesick there, uh, Ben, when you have pictures like that. I used to grow that for about 10 years Yellow butterfly corn, that's a staple of theater popcorn. Uh, so that's not what they use for caramelizing, but yeah, that's good eating stuff right there. Well, that's, that's interesting that they grow it right there. Thank you for taking the videos and sharing that with us. Uh, great stuff, that's a lot of fun to watch that. I appreciate it. That's Ben Hushen, he's with The Mill in Whitehall, Maryland with a look at the uh, popcorn harvest going on right now. Don't get to see that very often, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll pause right here and we'll come back and talk a little livestock right after this.